Hi, this is Sheridan Marfil and Esteban Lopez, and we're here to debate um, whether or not the internet should be free for everyone. Um, I'm taking the the pro side, um, working for um, an international development firm where we stress that an internet connection for everybody in the world would help with people's livelihoods, with finding a job, being able to um, manage a uh, business and also keep up their finances. Um, I also feel like if we look in the terms of um, employers and employees and the unemployed, um, it'd be at an advantage for them to be able to have an internet connection if it was free, if they were unemployed, just because they can't afford it. Um, and also that um, they'd be able to find jobs and readily um, apply for them. And without that internet connection, I just feel like they're at a disadvantage because pe they'd have to send theirs in through snail mail. Um, so the other point, I guess, is that uh, that the that there are all these large corporations that I mean that that monitor the internet with. Um, have like being able to give uh, you know charge charge for the internet um, I just feel like they make so much money that it'd be if they, they're able to um, kind of divvy it up a little and make it free for everyone that it would be cheaper for everybody that can pay for it or mm -hmm. um, that people would be able to connect more <laughs> okay so I do agree with you that the internet should be free uh, with, you know, across the board but with the end of uh, net neutrality, that's probably impossible. And with that in mind, uh, of course, you have like larger corporations now, as you said, that um, have like faster data speeds, and they're gonna abuse the internet in such a way uh, that I wrote. Like, for example, what I wrote in my essay is, I've got we've got like trading firms now on Wall Street who have faster data speeds, and because of this, they can. Um, buy and sell stocks in like one tenth of a second using computer um, alg algorithms, which uh, really is just kind of creating a, it's just gonna be like a larger divide between the corporations and the regular people. Well, I mean, you talk about the corporations and the regular people because what I wrote about in my paper is that um, I read this really interesting article um, about the people who um, don't have the internet and right now have the choice to not have the internet and um, which I addressed in my paper that it's it's fine that they don't have the internet but there are studies by the Pew Research um, Center um, that says that those people that don't have the internet by choice or you know because they can't afford it um, are actually being left behind um, because of this there are all these technological advances there's everything that's happening um, in front of them I, saw, I mean I, I agree with that it's like you know when the book was first uh, introduced uh, it, they didn't want to spread it out to the masses because they didn't want the people to get educated mm -hmm. and so I see this as a kind of another hurdle where larger corporations are again going to be able to control this uh, flow of information and keep, uh, you know, the masses in the dark. And that's the whole idea with this, with the end of net neutrality. And, um, you know, again, uh, as I said, maybe these trading firms and whatnot, it's all about money in the end and mm -hmm. keeping the masses, you know, uneducated. Um, I guess on, like, on different data speeds, um, do you feel, I mean, do you think that if, if there were to be, let's say, a free internet, do you think if you were to pay for it that you could get a faster data speed? Um, but just so that everybody could have some kind of connection, um, would that be something that would, like, I guess, would you support? Yes, I would. I mean, it's basically, you know, closing the gap because what, what is the internet? Um, it's just the flow of information. It's, it's basically uh, getting educated. As you said, if you work for an MPO, I mean, a kid in Africa, could, if granted he had internet, he could get a degree online, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's to the point where they can, where, where people can get educated. But is that happening? Um, no, because again, with the end of net neutrality, it's something that's kind of getting um, controlled yeah. by larger corporations who can, you know, who have access to, again, these faster data speeds and whatnot. Right. So it's kind of, I, I kind of see the future like a tier going to be a tier program yeah and, and eventually i see and and just sorry we're, we're we have like 30 seconds left and i guess i just wanted to close that there are they are trying it in the u.s i don't know if you've heard about freedom pop um it's the old clear 
that join Sprint and they are providing free free <laughs> internet um, up to 500 like megabytes and you just but you have to pay up front you have to pay for the router so the equipment um, apparently it's not so great yet just because obviously um, it's 500 megabytes a month and you can eat that up if you stream one movie on Netflix. Yeah, well, I, I was, yeah I, I agree with you on that. You know, uh, eventually, that's, that's the, the beauty of humanity. We always find a way. Yep. You know, so on that point, you know, I agree with you. I mean, uh, Perfect. Most people can do it nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. All right. Eventually, it will, you know, the playing field will level out. Yeah. Great. Um, thanks, and hope everyone enjoys watching. <laughs>